Darth, I'm curious okay. about your um, trans position there. When you say um, a dude who thinks he's a woman, what exactly do you take woman to mean there? Uh, a, a, a woman is somebody who is born, who has an XX chromosome and has, has reached uh, adulthood. Now, I don't mean to nitpick, but surely, like, you agree that a trans, um, a trans person doesn't actually have to have the belief that they have chromosomes they don't have, right? I don't understand your question, and I'm truly not trying to be sarcastic. No, it's okay. I, I'm just I'm challenging you a bit on it because I don't think I agree with your view on the trans people. Like when you say a dude pretending to be a woman, I'm just trying to understand what you mean by woman. And if you mean chromosomes, I don't think trans yeah. people are pretending to have yeah. chromosomes they don't have. I, 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 think, I think that that individuals like that um, are fantasizing that they uh, are a sex that they are not. I don't think that they're fantasizing to be another sex. They're fant they're well, they have another gender. Do you do you accept the sex gender distinction or I I, I think that I think I I think that's balderdash. And you don't think that there's um sort of like performative aspects to um No. No. Um, I, I take the view from the Christian worldview. In the beginning, God made them both male and female. You're either male or female. Even if you have chromosome, a chromosomal disorder, you are still distinctly male or female. Even people who have anatomical malformations where they have a dual set of male and female genitals, they are still distinctly male or female. Now, the overwhelming majority of uh, biological males who say that they're a trans woman, they are fantasizing that they are female. Well, I think... F f femaleness has to do with physical characteristics. Now, they flip and they flop on that because if they don't believe that, then why are they uh, taking hormones to grow bumps on their chests? Why, why are they, why, why are they, why are they having their genitals mutilated if femaleness and maleness is not rooted, rooted in anatomy and um, originally in XX or XY chromosome? Well, for the gender, I think that's more of a psychological thing. Like, I think the sex refers to those kind of physical characteristics. It's not... That's not the that's not the way God sees it. Does God actually comment about a like the gender sex separation not existing? God made there's there's only there's only there's only two sexes. Okay, they don't have to disagree either, with that. Yeah, they're you are you are you you are you are either you're either male or you're female. There there are no other distinctions. But someone could grant you that part and say there are two sexes um but additionally say there are genders and that someone can have a sex that's, that differs from that's, their gender. that's that that that's 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 just delusion that's just what if gender just thought. refers to a set of traits that you agree exist and can be clumped together like you um, could as i told you jesus said in the beginning it. god made them male and female there are no other distinctions about being male and female and in fact god said to the jews that the men were not to wear the clothes of women and vice versa and in that case it simply went down to a specific pattern of fringe at the bottom of their clothing okay yeah, I think um, that, I it was, like... that it was it was it was forbidden for a male to wear clothing that was culturally distinctively female. Right. I, I don't think that that would say that transgenderism is incoherent. I think they would just say, like, maybe it's wrong. 
it's wrong to express behaviors that are you know like gender yeah how do you think how do you think this is gonna fly on judgment day it's not gonna fly <laughs> okay well fair enough but i'm trying to distinguish between i understand you certainly think transgenderism is immoral that that i'm not arguing with you about right now um it's not just, just immoral it's it's de- it's delusionary it's a delusion but what is the delusion though because they don't think they're the other sex the delusion no, what they what they do is they think that they are a female trapped in a male's body. But female there refers to gender, not sex. This is just double talk as far as I'm concerned. Well, I don't Okay, so this will be my last thing. You can have the last word. I think that I'm not I'm not tr- listen, I'm not trying to disparage you. I'm talking about the line of reasoning that comes from them them being trans it, people or is I, people I, support them that, that, that where they talk about that there's a distinction between gender and sex it's double talk it's well, malarkey you're gonna have to say one of them either like doesn't exist or something like that or that they refer to the same thing like do you deny that there is a cluster of cat uh, traits we could refer to like maybe the way someone dresses their kind of vocal intonation how they you know carry themselves socially like, do you do you doubt that we could refer to a cluster of traits? You talking like about that? fashion? I mean, I think that's part of gender. Sure. It's like gen. I think they call it like gender expression, right? I don't. I don't know all the terminology they use, but the point is just that I don't think you disagree that those kind of traits exist, look, like how someone expresses look, look, themselves. All of listen things. to me. All all of this is a cultural outgrowth of the belief in evolution okay okay. well wait just would you would you agree that there is a set of behaviors typically associated with being one sex or the other like if you're female you typically wear listen listen to me listen 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 to me do you understand what is going on here is not a clash of facts it's a clash of world views and the transgender issue is simply symptomatic of the culture war and of worldviews. Okay, and this is this is, this began in the late nineteenth century with Charles Darwin, and it spread decade after decade till now. What we have is an increasingly atheistic culture. Okay, and so what we have what we have is a worldview clash, and we have a culture war. Okay, so. First came the issue of homosexuality. Now we're having the issue of the issue of transgenderism. In the 1950s, they would, every single one of these men, to use them as an example, would just simply be deemed, and I'll use their terminology, mentally ill or mentally deranged. But because the trans people have been aggressive, and propagandize people in academia who've adopted uh, leftism, they've adopted materialism and evolution, they have succumbed to the LGBT cultural propaganda, and they've capitulated to it, including academia and uh, Hollywood and the news media. Well, this didn't happen. This didn't happen because people are suddenly becoming enlightened. It's because Western culture, and especially a culture in America is becoming increasingly secularized or atheistic. Yeah. So maybe, maybe all of these things that you perceive as problems, like the trans stuff, it just derives from a split between atheism and theism. Ultimately, like I could, I could grant all that. And also you let me know when you want to get back to talking about what you're talking about before, because I stole the show, but my only criticism is just no, when you that's, say... No, that's fine. That's not, a, that's not a problem. I said I was going to go to bed an hour and a half ago. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, the only criticism I'm trying to raise is just when you say that the trans people are delusional. They don't believe they have a different sex, right? They have a different gender. And the gender part there is I just... Think, I, I think that... Can I just finish this, I think this that, sentence? Just this one I think, sentence. I, just I think the, that... Just, I, well, let me real, get this Real out. quick, I okay. think that distinction is a delusion. But I think that to say that, you're going to have to say that sex and gender aren't referring to coherent and separate things, which they are. We know what sex refers to. We agreed about that. And gender, you're not going to disagree that there is a set of like behavioral kind of characteristics that we associate that are typically associated with um, one or the other sex. Right. And someone can have the one sex and have those sort of behavioral characteristics that are associated with the other. And that's being transgender. 
So unless you want to say one of those things is incoherent, yeah. I mean, well, it, it 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 doesn't it doesn't cohere with the Christian worldview. Mm. Okay, and because you don't because you don't accept the Christian worldview, you are interpreting the facts um, from from a, a a pagan worldview, and it's no wonder you accept it. But I'm asking you what part, like I mean, f fair. Maybe it's because I'm just fucking stupid atheist, but. What part? No, it's not. You're not stupid. I, I, I'm, I'm, like being, you I'm, being, I I'm being. I'm being. I'm being facetious. I'm trying to joke around. Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm, maybe I'm just being. Yeah, silly, I do but. not think you're stupid. Well, I appreciate that. I don't think you're stupid either. Um, but when you when you have a problem, with, like, look, the whole criticism I have is about the claim they're delusional, and uh, so my response to that is to say they're not under the, the belief that they're of a sex that they aren't, which would be a delusion. They have a different gender than sex. Now, you want to say that distinction is incoherent. What is what what is gender? Now, I don't have the perfect definition, but it roughly, I think it refers to the sort of behavioral characteristics that are typically associated with one or the other I don't, sex. I don't I don't agree with that. I think that gender refers to whether you're male or female. Say someone was using it to refer to that set of characteristics though. Yeah, and so what we have is we what we have are is are the perverts who are who are propagandizing by manipulating language, and they do it all the time. Now, now just a to be perfect clear, example. I don't, I don't have Listen. to disagree with that, though. I don't have to disagree. I could grant that they're perverts and all this. The only question I'm interested in is the delusion one. You could say they're perverts, well, but they're not delusional, if you want. Yeah, they're 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 delusional because but they the delusion? they they imagine they imagine that they're female in their head. But you're referring to sex, aren't you? Yeah, I, I you're referring yeah, that, to gender. It, it, and yeah, well, the, I, I I consider I consider the bifurcation of gender and sex to be bunk. Well, let's say I create a word called schmender, and it refers to all of the characteristics that are normally associated with being one or the other sex. The behavioral characteristics, roughly. If there's something more look, than look, that, then look, let's, look, then listen, we'll, listen, yeah. listen. And you read in the New Testament, um, there are certain words that the Apostle Paul used to refer to homosexuals. And it, it was not always the Greek word for homosexual. Sometimes it, it refers to males, and the term me, it means to be soft. Okay, and it was it it was a it's a euphemism for men who are acting and behaving like women. And there's a couple of different terms that he uses. One of them. It, it is is uh, at its root means to be soft and can is correctly translated by the translators to mean effeminate. These yeah. are biological males who be speak, act, and behave with female characteristics, mm -hmm. and Paul refers to them as homosexuals and the effeminate mm -hmm. and it refers to them in that state that it is a choice yeah i mean i could grant that it's a choice i could i could grant that the condemnation of homosexuality like includes transgenderism and therefore it's immoral like i could grant all of that and it just wouldn't address the delusion thing like can yeah, I ask big marbus big mar or... hold on a second big sure. mar marbus it makes no difference to me that we have certain academic institutions that are increasingly capitulating to uh, uh, people in the culture war. Okay, the American Medical Association years ago uh, uh, stated that alcoholism is a disease, which is a crock. Uh, I'm not appealing it's to not a, those authorities. No, though. I'm. I'm, I'm, at, I'm at, I was responding to Big Marbus. Oh, okay. So it it it, it may be it may be the case. Okay, there, there's a number of wacky stuff that that certain academic institutions have advocated for. Okay, it doesn't mean that I'm going to capitulate to them. Now, I just want to to avoid like unnecessary conflict. Like, I'm not I'm not challenging any kind of claims like about whether it's ethical about these kind of things. I'm just focusing on the delusion. I and listen, yeah. I, I I listen, I listen. Even though we disagree on the topic. I'm not the least bit troubled by you asking me these questions. Well, I appreciate I don't that. think that you're asking I don't think that you're in any way baiting me, trolling me or asking in bad faith in spite of any disagreement we have.
Yeah, well, I, I do appreciate that, so thank you. Um, yeah. So, you know, you tell me when you're tired of going around the axle on this, but I'll just I'll just ask one more time. Um, so, you know, I just I listen. I just reached my limit. I got about sixty seven. I'm about ready to pass out. I'm so tired. F fair enough. I'll, yeah. I'll, how about we do? I say one thing. You say the last word. So last thing last thing I'll say on this topic is just that if yeah. you claim it's a delusion, there has to be some like fact that that is like clear that they're wrong about. Right. And if the idea is they think they're women, they don't think they are the other sex, which would be a delusion. They think they're the other gender. If the reply to that is to say gender is incoherent or doesn't make sense or, or somehow the same as sex, uh, I'm think, just going to... One second, I, I just finish? I, just let me finish this one. I'm yeah. just going to create a word, call it schmender, and say schmender refers to the behavioral traits typically associated with one sex or the other. And for the record, if there's more than that to gender, that's fine. I'm not deep in that topic, but that's roughly the kind of thing we're talking about. And I'm going to ask you, do you think that there is such a set of behavioral traits? I think those traits are associated with the biological nature. Sure. But yeah. the, the point but is, but agree, the point though. is there. Right. But the point, the point is, is that these traits I, are by and large the product of underlying physicality. Now, some of the traits can be emulated by a, a, a choice mm -hmm. okay that's sure okay i don't necessarily so, agree with all the choice stuff but i can grant that for the sake of argument though yeah sure and i and i believe that a lot of this starts to occur in in youth years ago i went to a biblical seminar that i learned a lot from where it talked about that a lot of adult conflicts have their origin in youth conflicts not that somebody was mistreated or, or harmed but that when somebody starts to enter adolescence and they um, adopt certain sinful ideas or practices that if they don't repent of it it can turn into a, a lifelong problem and I believe this is uh, what the nexus is in terms of a, a lot of homosexuality and transvestitism and sexual deviancy Dark and I so think I'm being made fun of yeah. in the way that um, someone in text is saying they're making fun of me for saying, do you accept the gender sex distinction to you? Because I think you're always asking people, do you accept the creator creation distinction? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, with that, I'll let, I'll let you go. But thanks for talking about it, though. Yeah, I'm no, really. I'm not sure. about. I'm just I am really I'm just I'm just dead tired. No worries at all.